going to have a little bit of an unboxing event here for you and show you how you can wear, hold, carry, and that sort of thing. The Commander Shot Timer from AMG Lab. Hey, uh, before we get into the unboxing, a uh, little point. Uh, just the other day, I got an email, somebody from AMG Lab, I actually watched uh, some of these other videos and wanted to point out a couple things. Number one, uh, by my right thumb, Doug, you really need to read the user guide before you start talking on YouTube videos. Anyway, I got my finger pointing at the speaker. This is where the sound's gonna come out, the beep. A little four holes right up here where I'm pointing just below the left pointing arrow, that's actually the sensitivity, the microphone. Uh, what about sensitivity? Let's turn the timer on, press and hold the M menu button, and we'll get to the sensitivity level here. Uh, other videos that I've made uh, discuss the sensitivity level that you would need, uh, something different for a 22 caliber rifle or pistol compared to something uh, more uh, with a higher decibel level, like a 12 gauge shotgun, uh, rifle calibers, that sort of thing. Uh, pressing the right arrow goes up to 10. 10, as AMG Lab uh, commentator pointed out, uh, is too sensitive to be used or really don't even think about using it for recording actual gunshots. It might be more suitable uh, for airsoft at uh, a distance or uh, they suggest maybe dry firing practice and that you want to use a, a lower sensitivity level for uh, picking up through these four small holes here the microphone. So uh, that's what you got. Uh, just a little bit of a disclaimer. I've written this up in the uh, caption for the other video. So keep in mind uh, tens for dry fire and uh, this big uh, hole in the uh, timer is your uh, speaker. Okay. Let's talk about the unboxing. What do we got here? Well, uh, in an earlier video, I discussed uh, this business about holding it, uh, how you want to carry it, uh, other uh, brands. You can have a clip on it. You can put it on your uh, belt or your uh, gear and that sort of thing. But let's see what I got from AMG Labs. I ordered this uh, on the 16th, and it is now the 22nd of July, so a little less than a week uh, from Florida here to North Central Texas. And what I ordered was their uh, silicon skin. Let's uh, take it out and see how we're all packaged up. Uh, got a couple of carabiners here to hook things up. Oh, very nice. I thought I was going to have to provide my own lanyard. I appreciate that. And uh, looks like, uh, hey, I bet I could figure out without any instructions. So let's just turn the timer off for grins and just slip it into the container here, the uh, skin. They call this the silicon skin. A uh, little snug fit here. Okay. I'm not sure what level of protection it would provide. As far as, you know, dropping it on concrete, uh, you know, indoor range, that situation. But uh, I like the idea of getting a little more protection around the timer and we're gonna have to use this in uh, next Saturday's uh, match we're gonna have outdoors uh, you saw the range and some of the other videos hey just took a moment to stick the thing on we'll scoot it up a little bit here want to get the speaker and the microphone properly exposed and there you go what a deal and we just clip on the lanyard here And there we go. Uh, we've got uh, ourselves an AMG timer secured uh, with a lanyard and hang it around your neck. Uh, I kind of like that idea. Uh, there's another uh, video made by, uh, I believe, uh, someone from AMG Labs that I'm going to give you a link below because in addition to uh, looking at this uh, skin here and just giving you the, the whole look, it's got a nice texture to it. You could certainly hold it in your hand and oh well, this is much better much 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 better uh, than holding a, a timer all by itself you definitely if nothing more you may not want to use the lanyard here but you definitely want to have uh, particularly in a hot summer day with uh, sweaty hands you might want to have a much better grip with this uh, silicon skin so uh, I like that idea anyway uh, I like the idea of the lanyard 
business here because you can hang it around your neck and when you switch out the range officers, hey, just take it off your neck and give it to somebody else. Uh, or you can use the carabiner here. Uh, the carabiner is close to uh, the link that I'll show you in the video where they demonstrate they have two other gadgets where you can put the timer uh, in a fashion, uh, attaching it to your uh, belt, your, your gear, much like uh, some of these larger uh, phone, mobile phones that are almost like tablets in themselves. They're so large that they have uh, special devices that can mount the phone horizontally for the most part, sometimes vertically, and you can put your timer on this gadget and, and pull it off. Uh, Maybe like some shotgun rounds and a three-gun match. Uh, you just pull the rounds out and load it up. In this case, you've got the timer right there. I'm only concerned with uh, cold weather situations. You're wearing your coat, and the coat gets in the way of uh, the microphone, the small hole here by the, the big one here, the microphone. And uh, might make it a little awkward uh, as far as uh, hearing the uh, appropriate shot times, that sort of thing, and uh, simply be in the way. And another thing to put on your belt, I <laughs> meaning... Don't we have enough things on our belts already? So uh, think about that and take a look at their video and decide what's uh, best for you. But we're going to give a, a good field trial and uh, I'll put some comments out here uh, regarding uh, the use of uh, the silicone skin here with the Commander Shot Timer. So thanks so much for watching again.